Hello everyone, this is Maki. Recently, a new story in the Crossbone Gundam series started. The title of this story is The Roiber. In the first episode, the story ended with the appearance of a mysterious container marked with three X's. What developments await us from here? The masked man who appears to be the protagonist is also very intriguing. Upon closer inspection, he resembles the man who appeared in the spin now, The Truth of the God's Thunder Project. The Truth of the God's Thunder Project is a book circulating in the world of the story, written by one of the characters, Rosemary. It reflects her vague memories, assumptions and desires, resulting in a chaotic narrative as a piece of fiction, it's quite entertaining and has been widely accepted by the public, becoming a big hit. Could it be that his admiration for Rosemary leads him on a wild adventure? Let's see what happens next. Today, let's take a look at the comments made on the official blog of Mr. Yuichi Haseidawa, the original author of the Crossbone Gunner manga series. He shared some fascinating insights into the world of the Crossbone Gundam series. In addition to the new story, another story entitled The First Cross was also released. This serves as a prequel to the original story depicted in Crossbone Gundam. It depicts the circumstances under which C. Bacano recruits his rival, Zobini Shao to join his team. Mr. Hasegawa mentioned writing, the first cross was an extremely challenging endeavor. Let's take a look at his comments. Personally, I don't often choose to make free wills. That's because it's difficult to add fresh surprises to a story where the ending is already known. This comic started out in response to a request to tell the story of Seabook and Savini before they began their activities as the Crossbone Vanguard. I decided to do it, as it seemed appropriate for the 30th anniversary celebration. In addition, there was a request to feature the X, one half cross as its toy project was underway. However, some fans may have thought that it was a bit of a stretch to have full cross equipment at this time. This element was a difficult challenge for me as well. Accepting challenges for the sake of promoting toys is something that Yoshiyuki Tumino, the creator of the original Gunam, also experienced. Regardless of the error, responding to requests from sponsors is an important part of being a creator. Although it is a challenge, it can also be a catalyst for new ideas that a creator might not have thought of on his or her own. For example, the G fighter that appeared in the original Gunnam series was a fighter jet introduced in response to requests from toy manufacturers. In the movie version, Tumino replaced the G Fighter with the Core Booster. Among fans, many speculated that Tumino didn't like the toy like appearance of the G Fighter. However, the Double Zeta Gunnam, the protagonist mobile suit of Gunnam Double Zeta, was introduced as a Gunnam that inherited the combination and transformation mechanisms of the G Fighter. The cross form Gunnamex. One half cross could also be a symbol that expands the possibilities of the Crossbone Gunnam series. Mr. Hasegawa mentioned that he also developed the background to incorporate the half cross into the story. These details were shared in his latest comments. However, it should be noted that these ideas were discussed before consulting with the official setting verification staff. Mr. Hasegawa also stated at this stage, please consider them to be the author's personal ideas. So what kind of equipment is the half cross? Let's look at Mr. Hasegawa's comments. I felt that it would be very difficult to introduce the half cross before the battles with the Jupiter Empire began. This is because when the Crossbone Gunner first appeared, 
It did not use the half cross. First of all, I thought that right after the Mother Vanguard began its operations, it would be the best equipped. I also considered the reason for this. Sun Airy, the sponsor provided the Crossbow Vanguard with a large amount of equipment for experimental purposes. However, because it was experimental equipment, some of the items were powerful, but they also had drawbacks such as being fragile. The full cross had not yet achieved practical performance. In addition, there was the problem of having no spare parts to repair it when it was damaged. Therefore, by the time the story of Crossbone Ganon began, most of the experimental equipment had been used up only the reliable armaments that had been repeatedly tested in real battles remained. The existence of this setting opens up the possibility that there may have been other prototype weapons, and this sparks the imagination. It's also important to remember that for now, these are the settings that Mr. Jose Gawar has prepared. As the story progresses, official settings will be established after discussions with the staff responsible for scientific and setting verification. It was revealed that the title Zeroiba was a name that Mr. Jose Gawa came up with in the early stages of the project. However, the editorial staff requested we need a fresher, more heroic name that evokes the 30th anniversary. In response, Jose Gawa jokingly suggested then why not just call it Crossbone Gundam 30. However, there was a problem with this name. There was already a game in the Super Robot Wars series, called Super Robot Wars 30. Mr. Hasegawa's next suggestion was what if we use Greek numerals and write it as XXX to represent 30. The editorial staff replied in some countries and regions that notation is associated with adult content, so we can't use that idea. The name of Gundam Double X is written as DEX for the same reason. Mr. Hasegawa then suggested how about calling it Sigma O so that it looks like study from a distance. This idea progressed to the point where a designer was asked to create a preliminary logo. However, it was ultimately rejected because it didn't really look like study. Reflecting on this Mr. Hasegawa set, the design looked really cool. After going through this exchange, they finally settled on the original idea, Zeroiber. We have been keeping up with the news regarding Crossbone Gundam, and unexpectedly there was a mention of Gundam X. Many fans may have wondered why the name Gundam Double X is not written with two X's side by side like Double Zeta Gundam, but instead as DX. It has now been revealed that this is because the use of multiple access as a notation can indicate adult content in certain countries and regions. Cross Phone Gundam continues to create a new chapter in the history of the Gundam series. The Gundam F89, which appeared in the Gundam F90 series, also made its first appearance in Cross Phone Gundam. Let's continue to look forward to the future development of the Crossbone Gundam series. Thank you for watching until the end. See you in the next episode.